Hey Monsties, I got my hands on the new NECA Rodan figure here. Um, just a quick over look at the box. 13 inch wide wingspan, articulated wings, includes display base with support rod. The atomic breath version should be up next. Go ahead and pause this if you want to read the bio for yourself. Let's see what we got here. Of course it comes with the support rod. This is different from the Mothra rod. Custom to fit Rodan better. We have this awesome fireball effect here. As you can see it has parts of it that are translucent. And then we have this Monarch mountaintop base here. It really helps justify the price point. It was 24 bucks for me. See the bottom side is just hollow. We also get this alternate Rodan head here. I actually like this open mouth version better than the closed. The closed one looks too much like Gauss from Gamera. But that's not NECA's fault, that's just the design. And then we have Rodan himself. Nice. I love the, the creases and lines. It almost has this like wooden texture. Not that the figures wouldn't, but Rodan himself. It's like carvings in wood almost. The only complaint I really have is that maybe some of these yellow paint specks on them, which is supposed to represent lava, they're kind of just splotched on there. They could have been maybe faded or polished up a little bit more, but I mean, honestly, when you look at it from a distance, it's not bad at all. It, all right, so let's get them on a stand here. As you can see, there's a slot here with a flat side so you can line it up correctly with that. Nicely done there. I think these pieces complement each other quite well. Now the wings on mine are a bit loose. I can get this one wing to prop up, but the other one won't quite fit that uh, staying position. But actually, I think that is a pretty cool angle right there. Now let's get him next to Mothra and her display piece. Yeah, the scale comparison is perfect. The only thing I can really say is I think Rodan turns out so well that for the price point, the space being so large, it kind of makes you wonder why they couldn't have at least thrown in uh, larval Mothra here just uh, as a bonus display piece to make up for the size comparison. And here the three of them are. Once again, the size is lining up quite well, I think. It's just my opinion. What are you guys thinking? And finally, just for a random comparison, here's Rodan next to Shin Godzilla, both NECA. Comparing the two together, the paint job on these from King of the Monsters is a lot better than the Shin Godzilla one was. In regards to the articulation here, the head is on a very tiny ball joint. Just to give you an idea of how tiny this ball joint is, there's the ball joint. Now the mouth doesn't actually move, that's why there's that alternate, this alternate piece here with the open mouth. Let's see, so after the head we have the neck, the wings, they're on swivel hinges, so we can get that nice flapping motion. We can also, you know, so we can spin it back and forth a little bit here. We can probably go more, but I don't want to scrape it. And then there's a hinge here at the hand, so you can move the wings out that much and you can also fold them back about that much and then the hips are actually ball joints here so you can move the legs sideways around pretty much any way here nothing in the knee nothing in the ankle toes nothing in the tail as you can see like there's this line here where it looks like there's a joint here in the stomach but that's not the case all right musties did you scoop up rodan yet are you going to keep scooping these up let me know thanks for watching